Hey everyone, Thaw Steve here in the Galileo division here at 1591 Greece Gladiators. They're going to be talking about their modified Everybot and how they have been able to do so well this, this season. First time at Worlds, two winner banners as well. So really excited to go around the robot here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. All right, we're going to start right off with you. Talk about your design process with us. So yeah, this year our team decided to innovate the Everybot design. Uh, so watching the launch video, we saw the Everybot was really tippy and we were really scared that our robot was going to fall over. So we focused on lowering the center of gravity. Uh, so we've got a steel belly pan as well as a bunch of steel bars just uh, on our robot frame. Um, and then we were also able to um, upright the whole structure. So if you watch the original video, um, the structure is more of like a forward leaning K. Uh, so we've got an upright here and then some custom made gussets by our CAD team uh, that help us be a little less tippy uh, and just lower the center of gravity. Um, some other things, uh, we went with swerve drive instead of tank drive, like the original Everybot, which allowed us to widen the whole structure, uh, which just makes picking up pieces a little bit easier because of the wider intake. Um, and then something that we had to change actually from our original redesign was these chains used to be on the outside of our robot and we noticed a lot of slop in the numbers of uh, the location of our arm, which made it difficult to make presets uh, determining how far out the arm had to be to pick up pieces from the substation and drop them off and different things like that. So we had to move them to the inside to uh, help that and fix that and uh, reduce the slop on that. So that's why we made these chain guards here so that the intake wouldn't uh, hit against the chains. So yeah, those are the main changes that we made. Um, as well as the, uh, almost reading, the biggest change was the ground intake. So the original Everybot didn't have the capability of picking pieces up off the ground. So our CAD team custom designed this ground intake that passes the just cubes into our main intake arm uh, that can drop on any of the node levels. So we use that mainly for our autonomous period. Um, and yeah, that helps us make a whole bunch of different auto paths. Uh, that the Everybot, original Everybot, wasn't capable of. So, yeah. Well, that's a perfect way, opportunity to segue into software. Geo, you're going to be talking about, talk about your presets with us and all the modifications you've done since, with Everybot, the code's already out there. But now you have done modifications to the robot, so that also includes modifications to the code. Talk us of that. Yep. So with our presets now with the chains on the inside, we also have an absolute encoder on the outside so we can track the position there instead of relying on the relative encoders of the NEOs. So um, our presets are now um, are consistent. So uh, going into autonomous, is our, before we had added the ground intake, we were limited to um, one piece auto, maybe balance. Um, but all we could do is do one piece because we could only rely on the one that was already started in our robot. So adding the ground intake opened a whole new world for us as far as our autos go. So now we could do multiple pieces, whether that be uh, two piece where we grab up, we, we score the piece of which is already in the bot and uh, grab another one, do the transfer and score that. Or another thing of which we've also been doing is shooting with the ground intake, of which uh, we found out through testing in the warehouse where, um, which wasn't actually his intention, but it uh, worked out nicely for us. Um, but yeah, so. Really nice to talk about your, hear about your software and stuff like that. Now let's head over to your history of your team. Izzy, you're gonna tell us about your history of your team, how it's been, what, 18 years? And now you guys at Worlds? Tell us about that. Um, we have existed for, yeah, 18 years now. My coach is from, is an alumni of our team, and after being passed to her, we have competed in our first regional FLR, uh, Finger Lakes Regional, for a long time. And five years ago, we were 54th out of team, out of every 55. team. 54 out of 55 teams. And now, five years later, we won that regional 
the first second regional we've ever been to. We've never gone to a second regional. We also won that one after the first alliance picked us. And I think it's extra special that our first ever blue banner was because our coach won the Woody Flowers finalist award. I think she deserves it. And I think going from zero blue banners to three in one year has been absolutely amazing. And I think, honestly, I think I'm still in shock from it. <laughs> of course, your first win is always a shock, especially, but not having two wins, that's more of a shock. But also, your amazing Woody Flower winner over here. <laughs> Good luck here at Worlds. Now, let's hand it over to Justin. First driver from your team to be at Worlds. How is this experience so far? Well, first time at Worlds, it's really crazy having eight fields play at once and all that. First time seeing that. Competing in one of the fields as well has been really fun. It feels like just another one of the regionals that we won, and I'm having a lot of, time, a lot of fun playing in these games this year. Well, 1591 Greece Gladiators, thank you for taking the time to walk us around your robot. Really appreciate it. Congratulations on all your success and good luck for this event. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.